Hi, today I'm going to be changing my oil and some of the tools that you can use is a one ton jack, the jack stands, this oil pan right here, funnel, and a 3 8 extension and a 9 16 socket. Hey everybody how you doing this is my youtube video on uh, 2010 toyota camry and uh, as you can see here we already drained the oil took the oil plug out the oil plug was right over here okay all right so we got the oil plug out and then we got the oil filter out which is right up here so all the use to take out the oil filter right is this little piece right here you know this should look familiar all right so you use this on your wrench or whatever take it out take out the old filter well, actually this is the new one take out the old filter put in the new one when you put in the new one right it comes a pack with the o-rings all right so these are the new o-rings and this is the old one. So out with the old and with the new. We got the new one here. And we got another small one that you're going to fit over this canister down here. Once you do that, you got your filter, new filter. You put that on. Boom. Beautiful. You got your new filter. Now you're ready to reinstall it. So it goes on, screw it on like you're yeah, screwing on a light bulb. All right. Nice and tight, nice and snug. Then you get your wrench, put the adapter on it. Righty tighty, lefty loosey, you know. Oh, uh, you just think about a bottle cap, how you taking off a bottle cap or putting on a bottle cap. So you know how to put this on properly. All right. Nice and snug. All right, beautiful. So that's on. Once you have that on, then you can put your nut on. Once everything is all drained out. All right, so you feel for the hole. And you screw that on like a light bulb. Okay. And once that is on, use, I believe, a 916 socket. Okay, and you tighten that up nice and tight because you don't want to do like I did put it on loose, you're gonna put it super tight, not crazy tight, but really tight. You know, you want to put it on loose, and then you lose all your oil while driving down the highway one day. So, let me make sure that's tight. Yeah, that's not going anywhere. Okay. So this is a nice, doesn't have any leaks on this. Clean it up. All right, you wanna clean up all the drips to make sure. And once you start up the car, there's no leaks coming out. Because based on my experience, that happened before, so you'll know that, yeah. Everything's all tight and good. Once you're done with that, you can add your oil. So, we're using, this is not a commercial, we're not getting paid, but you want to pay attention to the OW20, all right? It deals with weight and viscosity. It's, uh, this one is high miles, you know? You want to look at synthetic and all that, fully synthetic, it's good oil for your car. Have the engine last longer. You, hop, you pop your hood and you add your oil. <laughs> you can pause it. Yeah, so you just get into the car, pop the hood right here. Open the 
this up. Yeah. Crack that open. And you start adding your oil. Yep, so we got the oil, got the funnel, and you gently start pouring in. Nice and easy. Beautiful. Now the drip escape. Okay. Use your funnel and you put the oil oil in. Uh, places like AutoZone, other places they'll take the oil and recycle it. So uh, leave that there for now. And make sure you put your cap back on. All right? Even the cap tells you what weight to for the oil. OW20, right? Put your cap back on. Sometimes you go anti clockwise and then you go clockwise to make sure you don't mess up the treadings for the cap. Nice and snug. You don't want that to pop off. Alright, so once you're done with that, you want to take the car if it's on ramps, which I'll suggest you get instead of a uh, jack because uh, these ramps here is. It saves you time. I, I believe it's safer. Uh, sometimes I don't trust the jacks and uh, because of the stability. And if you are using jacks, make sure you have jack stands. So yeah, you save some money. Get yourself some ramps. Cost you like fifty, sixty dollars from AutoZone or any other auto supply. And uh, yeah, ramp up on that. And you take your car down and. Um, then you check your oil. Uh, <laughs> I took my slipper. <laughs> uh, I'm going in the house. I took the slipper. Down. Brakes off. Uh, the foot brakes off for safety. I mean, on for safety. Put it in reverse. Jack and come back. Off the rack. Oil, oil is in, filter is on, right? So now you wanna check the oil level. Make sure that the right level, not too much, not too little. And just right, right on that mark there. Looks like it's a little lower than the mark. Sometimes you could add a quart or half a quart. But that, that'll be good. So, there you go. 2010 Toyota Camry. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe.